So if you want to be a better putter, there's some key skills that you need to develop. Green reading is one of them. Something you need to practice. And the difficulty is when we try and practice it is we often don't get feedback as to whether it was a poor read or whether it was a poor stroke. So if I set myself up here and I read this, let's say a foot and a half off the right, and I hit my putt, and it stays out to the right, did I overread it or did I push it? I actually don't know. It doesn't give me a lot of feedback about that particular read. So what you actually have to do is use a gate. You have to use something that allows you to get some feedback. So what I would do is I'd get my golf ball, place it on the green, then I would read the putt. What do I see it doing? Do I see it breaking off the right and the left? Once I've established that break and I see that visible break on the green, I'm gonna place this gate on the line that I want my ball to start. And I'm gonna take a bit of time over that. And then once my gate is down, I'm then gonna use the line that I use on my golf ball, aim it right through the middle of the gate. So what's gonna happen now is when I hit this putt, I'm gonna get hopefully some better feedback. Number one, if I started it through that gate, it tells me I hit the line that I chose. which I did. Now, now I can tell it was a slight misread. I slightly overread it because I hit the line that I wanted, yet it missed on the right-hand side. That's how we practice green reading. So use a gate. If you don't have a gate, a couple of tee pegs would work. Go onto the practice green and do that little exercise and start to see if there are any patterns. Do you overread it, underread it? Using this little technique, will absolutely develop your green reading and that's a key skill to become a better putter.